Welcome back to another video. This is Admas from SuperSQA.com. In this video, we're going to look at examples of how to pass parameters to the steps. As I mentioned before, that's one of the most important uh, features of Behave or any of the other BDD frameworks. You should be able to pass in parameters to the steps. Otherwise, it's just unnecessarily uh, it's going to make it difficult to work with. All right, so let's go to PyCharm and look at some of the examples I created. All right, so now we're in PyCharm. I created this uh, directory steps param step parameters. I will upload that for, for you in a zip format. I have a one feature file and a steps directory, of course, that's required, and one definitions uh, Python file, and I just called it definitions. Remember, you can call that anything you want. It just has to be a Python file. So if we look at this uh, feature file, here PyCharm is trying to tell me there is a there is a plugin that can handle uh, that feature. I don't know if that's a free plugin or not. I probably should try it. But it really doesn't bother me the fact that it's plain text. So I just keep it like that usually. Okay, so and one more thing to notice, I can put comments just like you would in Python. You use um, a hash or a pound to put a comment. Uh, triple quotes does not work in the feature file. So this is the, this is basically how you would comment, but if you put it underneath the feature, also you actually don't need this. You can put notes. You can talk about what the test case is for, you know, just put some information there, and that would be fine. Uh, again, below the scenario too. Okay, so given I have a new DVD in my cart and I have a new book in my cart, as you can see, those are it's the same thing except two different items. So the way I would define it is the step definition is given I have a new braces variable name in my card and in the function context, of course, the first the first parameter is context and the second one would be whatever I have here. And if I, if I needed to do more, I would put like this, xx, this, this, and then I would have to pass in xx as, as a variable basically, right? But I'm not going to do that right now. The main thing is you get the point. Then here I'm just printing it. I'm actually ironically using the same type of thing, string formatting to format the message. And the item is that. So let me demo that real quick. Uh, go to CMD. You can go to CMD or if you have configured here. Let me go back out one, then step parameter. And a uh, system going to kind of, oh, let's see. C D D D step oh let me just go out to C D step parameters. Alright, now we we are in the game. Behave one test, right? So I didn't have to specify the file name, it ran. What I need to do is output no capture because I want to see it print. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention before is if you don't get it printed, especially if you have one line and it doesn't print, if you have like three lines and it only prints two, it has to do with, I run into that problem when I was on a Mac. So use this, it's the formatter. So dash F, uh, is it equal? No, space, plane. So use a plain formatter. Yeah, if you do that, um, it will solve your problem. If if whatever you expect to print, if it's missing one of the lines, then use a plain formatter. Anyways, back to the main topic. So if we go back here, first I have DVD, then I have book. So it, when when it prints it out, it's book. Let me de, let me copy this, Control D, and let me put a car, okay? And let me run it again. Bam! The third time, this this item is car. As you can see, it's printing this over and over, but every time it runs, it's a different variable and I'm passing to it. Also, notice the quotes. Here I use single quote and here I use double quote and it's 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 working. And that's that's how you pass. And just as uh, to see just more examples, let me delete this and let me paste this. I copied it from my notes. And so I click on next, I click on finish, right? A lot of times you're going to do clicking and you don't really want to, obviously you're not going to do that. You're not going to write, I click on this, I click on that like a million times. So you, you're going to pass in what to click as a parameter. So here also, 
let me get the definition I click on I think this is the one I need it's a when all right if you do control slash it will it will comment on comment and here we are let's see what else am I missing am I missing I click I click I should see the word success and that one also copy I'm going to put it here in my definition highlight all of it control slash there you go so and here item again I'm using the same variable name here button to click and I have the quotes by the way if you notice here the item I did not there's no quotes here right in the in the step definition I don't have quotes but in the actual implementation I have quotes so uh, uh, behave would understand what I'm trying to do behave understands that I'm putting the quotes here to indicate a parameter so it will print it out it's not going to throw an error saying undefined even though when I define it I don't have the quotes in there make sense all right so one thing I wanted to show you is uh, for the text I'm expecting success or error that's the only time I would ever use this right uh, let's see yeah I should see success or I should see um, error and this one I should I should probably make a lower case and um, so what I would do is I'm passing the text in and I'm missing context let's play around and what I should do is I should make sure whatever text I pass in here is one as expected. I don't want to pass foo, bar, or any, any random stuff. And I want to raise an exception. Then, I, after, otherwise, if I say everything is good, then I will print here. And I would say, you know, if it's success, do this. If it's, if it's fail, do that. And what happens if I run it now? I didn't double check. Uh, and I click on... Let me see. It's saying I click on is not implemented. I click on. Now I don't know why it says it's not implemented. Let's see. When I click on, oh, the quotes. I think there is double quotes, single quotes. Oh, which one failed? One of them failed. I didn't tell me next. I think the next one failed. So if I would do double quotes and if I run it again then no problems it's all passed so the reason would be I use single quotes here but I used uh, I click double quotes here that's why if I didn't use any quotes at all it would have been fine right we saw that before no, 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 no failures all right, so this is how you pass it. This is really definitely practice with it. This is this one here is a good example. And then I would say if text usually you want to check you want to check for uh, the case right uh, lower right because just keep it consistent is equal to success then print yay and else print no all right so if we were to run it well i need to specify yeah i did specify so it printed yay because it's success but when i call it here if i had error it prints no so this makes sense. I hope I sure hope this makes sense to you because this is very important. One more example I want to see you show you is how to pass in uh, the number. What what just happened? Okay, I'll just zoom it in. Uh, this sucks. Oh, it's just a tab. All right, so I just want to show you this one and let me get the definition for that one. Control copy. I'm on a Windows machine as you can see. The control V and commented. Okay, so I start a call with 
whatever uh, participants. What did, what did I say? Yeah, given I start a call with 10 participants, let's say I'm I'm doing a backend API testing for some kind of uh, phone company or some kind of, for Skype, which is, you know, creating a, bunch, a call with a bunch of people. So I pass in 10. Let's see, it should be two features now. Yeah, two scenarios. Yeah, oh, one feature, two scenarios. And it passed. And the main thing I wanted to see you is, to show you, it's a Unicode. See, here what I did is I printed the type of quantity. I passed in quantity and the type is, um, it's a Unicode, which is basically a string. So if I was actually tr need to, to, to use it as a 10, I would say new quantity is equal to int of quantity. And I would do the same thing here. I am so lazy. I'm copying and pasting. And uh, now if we run it again, there should be an integer. Hmm, it says Unicode. I put in, oh, I'm trying to print this. Now I need to print the new value. And the new value is int. Now I can do int 10 times the user or whatever. I use it as a number. I just want to show you that when you pass it in, it's actually a string, Unicode string. All right, so this video is getting a little long, but this is a very important concept. It should be clear to you how to use it because you will use it when we start writing practical test cases. Great. Thank you for your attention.